I will take this out too, just because it will make it easier to get to the, the nut down here, or whatever's down there. There's just some plastic nuts on here. on so you can squeeze them both with your hands but stepping away here there like that plug off at your pressure switch. I've got to loosen this one right here. This goes to your evaporator. Ooh, it's turning. You don't want to mess up the evaporator because then you got to get inside there and change that. Looks like there's a bracket on this holding it to the firewall. So it looks like I'll have to take this bottle out of the way. Just two bolts and that comes out of the way. That's what it looks like. You take this bracket off of here, looks like there's a clamp here. And take and put this back here for now. It's out of the way of my hose. That looks like a 15 millimeter fits that. I'm just going to use the big breaker bar since it's hard to get in here. There we go, came right out. See what you guys can see here. Great, you couldn't see anything. Should have been right there. Oh well. Couldn't see it so far. We've taken off the air cleaner, the pipe. The uh, accumulator, this is an orifice tube system, so I guess they call it an accumulator. It was on the firewall back here. This was screwed to the evaporator. And this is the hose that goes out to the condenser. Well, now it goes to the, the pump, AC pump. loose. And remember that goes under the battery cable. remember there's something else holding this screw on 
So I'm going to take these four uh, T20s out of each one of these lights and see if this thing will come out. Then it's being held in down at the bottom somewhere. The top is all loose. Maybe you are wrong about taking these out, but I think maybe I can see what's going on in there. Can't be that hard. You gotta be able to get in there and change light bulbs. There's one back there also. So we had one up here, one down here. over we got uh, one right there and then there's one down in here yeah down through here so there's one back here too take this light out one back there Maybe it's easier just to take these out. Oh yeah, they come right out. back in there and so tips out of there and this piece stays with it. So now we can see what we came for. And so the uh, the condenser's here. And this is the orifice tube is in here, I believe. So you gotta disconnect these. Looks like this thing is kind of messed up. Good thing I bought a new one. So it looks like I have to take the latch, hood latch mechanism with the horn on it down. One, two, three, four, like four five screws and then loosen these two up put both wrenches up so they're offset close to each other you can squeeze them like that
So this is going to our compressor. This one here goes back to the firewall for the other side of the evaporator. Okay, so let's disconnect it. Let's see if I can get the camera up here. So they give you a bolt right here. If you can see that, it's behind the uh, behind this. So I'm going to go ahead and mark these two bolts. So I don't have to readjust the latch because I'm going to have to take this off to get to that bolt back there. You can see it there. There's one right there. And one right there. And one down here. And then this whole thing should come off. But it looks like I have to take this off separate. Let's mark it with a paint pen. Just use the breaker bar. off of here and get it out of the way. Wire for the horn. That one's out, that one's out, that's disconnected. These brackets come off the top. There it is. It's all, it's all out of there. Can you see that? Let's compare that to the new one. Okay, I spent some time vacuuming. Nobody would probably do that. I haven't removed this here yet, but this one here is this one here so I'll need to release that clip right there I guess take that hose out otherwise I've got it all clean back there found my bolt I lost so we, once I take this hose out I'll be ready to put new parts in and these are parts I'm putting in Got these from Napa. There's the hose. I haven't taken it out of the bag yet. There's the part number. There's the accumulator part number. There's the orifice tube part number. Looks like that. Here's the oil I'm putting in. And there's the uh, condenser. And there's the old one. And there's the new one. So they look like they're going to work. It's 
brackets are different up here. They got some brackets up here. They always have to make something different so it won't fit right. Hopefully it will fit in there. We can open this up. Here's the accumulator. Here's the old one. They had two different models. One had a flat bottom. One had a like a rounded bottom. I got the rounded one because it was similar to this. Even though it doesn't look the same. Should be the same. Top of that one. And the top of this one. Looks like it's the same. So that's the next step. Put in the new stuff. You'll have to go buy a a kit. change these you just buy a kit it's an AC conversion kit and it comes with the the valve the parts here where your valves hook on from your 134 gauges because they won't fit these I don't believe these have the ones for 134 probably the same ones that the old one has and I'll leave that in the bag for now I'll get ready to put it on. So next up, put on the parts.